Okay, for this video, we're going to go over CS Discoveries Unit 2 Web Development Lesson 3 Headings. The new code for this are the heading tags. We've got H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. The largest heading is going to be an H1. The smallest heading is H6. Okay, you can watch this video on your own. And for this one, they want us to fix any of the problems in the code. Now, they're going to show up as pink. So we have this pink um, closing tag for this paragraph here. However, there is no opening tag, it looks like. So we've got an opening tag and a closing tag for the one before it, for number one. But for number two, there is no opening tag. So let's go ahead and put that in. Remember, it's the less than sign, P, and then the greater than sign. And now it's got its closing tag and opening. And we're looking here. And it looks like that is the only one here. So we can go ahead and click Finish. All right, the next one they want to organize by headings. Um, so what we'll do is we'll use our inspector to see the code uh, that gives our headings. And then we're going to change our code so that the drawing and two years headings match the others. So let's look at the inspector. We've got My Hobbies is an H1. Soccer is an H2, five years in it is an H4. If we scroll down, baking is an H2, 10 years is an H4. If we scroll down, we got drawing, it's just a paragraph, and two years is also a paragraph. So we need to make these match the others. So if we look at the others again, we've got H2 for the hobby name and then H4 for the amount of time they've been doing that hobby. So let's go down to drawing, change this to H2, and then we also need to change the closing tag. So it's not a paragraph anymore, it's a heading, so we need to change that back to H2. And then on the two years, once again we'll change it from a paragraph, if this time it's going to be an H4, it's going to be smaller than an H2 heading. And then we'll change the closing tag for the H4 as well. Remember on your closing tags they always have to have this slash right after the less than sign. So now, if we look through here, the hobbies all are matching with as far as how large their headings are. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. We have six different size headings, and for this one, they want us to change the tags so that the headings match with the sizes. Okay, so right now it says biggest, but the biggest isn't showing up as the biggest. It says big, but it's really small. Medium, small is huge. So what they want us to do is make the biggest actually be the biggest one. So the biggest one is an H1. So we'll come into the code here, and we can change this to H1. So now we're using the biggest heading. Now we have a big heading, but not quite the biggest, so we'll use an H2. All right, and then we have a medium big, which is going to be an H3. And remember, you always have to change both tags if you're changing what tag you're using. Uh, the medium small is going to be an H4, and medium, the small is going to be an H5, and the smallest is going to be an H6. So the H5 was already correct. We just have to fix this last one here now. Perfect. So we can refresh and save. We can look over here, and you'll see they go from the biggest to the smallest. All right, but this one it wants to look at the code and see how the headings will be displayed. Looks like we've got an H3 for eggs, an H1 for bacon, and an H6 for waffles. Well, we know one is the biggest and six is the smallest. So bacon should be really big, waffles should be really small, and then eggs should be somewhere in between. So we've got bacon really big, waffles really small, and eggs are in between. And that is correct. So let's move to the next one. We've got a video that shows us how to debug and the four steps of debugging. I recommend you watch that on your own. Um, for this one, we're going to try what we learned on one or more of the following websites. Uh, we can go ahead and click on debug the missing paragraph. Let's look in here. We've got a missing paragraph. The turtle paragraph is missing. So we've got dogs, turtles. It's blank. So let's see if we can find anything about turtles. Turtles. Oh, we've got a problem here. This is not a normal paragraph tag. Let's fix it. All right. And did that fix it? Oh, looks like that's all that fixed it. We don't need a period here, though. So we can take that out. 
All right, so we can uh, go ahead and click Finish. All right, we can go to the next one, debug the pink tags, and see what problems we have. We've got pink tags here, so we've got a paragraph, and then we've got a closing tag that doesn't have the P in it, so let's fix that. All right, and that cleared up the other pink problems. We've got another P here, that's another problem, and the problem is we're missing the greater than sign at the end, and that fixed uh, what was showing up in pink below. All right, we've got a couple more to do. We've got debug the subheadings. Let's fix these. So we've got, it says what happened? There's pink code near line 12 and 14. So let's look at 12 through 14. We've got an H3 and then a closing H2. So let's fix that. So these have to match up. A heading size three needs to match with a closing tag for a heading size three. So that's fixed. And we've got another one, H3 here, and then H2 for the closing. So let's make sure that the closing matches the opening. And then we'll hit, look through here. It looks good. We'll hit finish. And then we've got one more to do, add larger heading. This one, it wants us to add a larger heading at the top of the article. Okay, so very top of the article. This article is about land, sea, air, so different types of transportation, it says. Okay, so let's just maybe call this transportation. So right before this paragraph, let's go ahead and put a space in, and we'll do an H1 heading, a really big one, like they said. We'll say transportation. Okay, and then we'll close it with a closing H1 tag. There we go, we got a big one and some smaller ones. Okay, this is all done now. We can move to the next part of the lesson. Okay, for this one, they want us to decide what the best structure would be for this um, using heading and paragraph tags. All right, so for this exercise nine, we're going to go ahead and uh, fix the structure of this page. Right now, it's just kind of mixed together. Um, it looks like in the HTML side, they broke it up with just some spaces, but they didn't put any real tags in here to say how we want it to show on the right side. So just because we have spaces doesn't mean it's going to show up with spaces on here. We'd need to actually add those tags. So maybe for, we've got my pets, we've got three different pets. We've got Lula the dog, Slowpoke the turtle, and then Hamster the fish. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, put some heading tags. So my pets, maybe we'll do a, a large H1 tag for that. So the biggest size heading. All right, and then we're going to have a little paragraph that talks about the three favorite pets. So we're going to do a P paragraph tag, and then we'll close out our paragraph tag when the paragraph is finished. Make sure you always have your slash on your closing paragraph or closing tags. And then we've got Lula. Maybe we want this to be a heading size two, maybe not as big as my pets. And we'll close it out with a slash H2. So let's look at that. It's looking pretty good so far. And then for dog, let's make that one an H3, a little bit smaller than the other one, slash H3. All right, so we've got my pets, we've got a paragraph, we've got Lula, the dog, and then we'll do another paragraph one here. Now this isn't the only way we can format it. We could have changed, maybe do a different size heading for these other ones, but that's just uh, what I chose. So we're gonna go slow poke, let's do a H2 again. Um, and we'll close it with slash h2. And then turtle, we'll go h3, heading size of three, which is gonna be kind of a medium size. Let's make sure we get that slash in there. Okay. And then we've got um, the paragraph about the turtle. And we'll close out the paragraph with a closing tag. And then we've got the hamster, we'll do it h2 again. I guess hamster is the name, and the type of animal is a fish. We're going to change the fish heading to an H3 size. And there we go. I'm just going to tab this one over so it kind of looks the same. Okay, and if we look over here, we've got my pets. We've got a paragraph. And we've got our different size headings for the name of the animal and then what type of animal it is. So it looks great. We'll go ahead and hit finish, and we'll finish up the rest of this real quick here. We've got the extra line break. 
So we can use the break tag br to start a new line. So it's asking us to separate the lines in the poem. So add two more line breaks to separate the other lines. So we're going to go ahead. We've got a couple breaks here. This br it doesn't have it doesn't need an open and closing tag. It's just a single tag. Okay. And then I can't really brag till I have a tag. Every tag. So we're going to hit it. Throw a break there. And and then we can maybe throw another break up here. So we've got, we added two more breaks like they asked. And then it says uh, the break tag is used for writing addresses or poems. You can use break tags and or line breaks, but not have separate paragraphs. So that just gives a little bit of information about those. And we'll go to B, extra code, horizontal rule. So we can use HR to do a horizontal rule line. So horizontal line going across. And it wants us to do this. Uh, to add a horizontal rules or add more than one. Okay, so we've got our body, we've got a heading here, this amazing place called Earth. Maybe want to throw in a horizontal rule here so it'll draw a line across when we do that. And this horizontal rule tag doesn't need an open and closing, it just uh, puts in a line when we use it once. Okay, we can scroll down here, we've got one for deserts, maybe one after the deserts when we get to grasslands. So let's find after the deserts here. Let's go ahead and put another one, HR, and then puts it in there. Okay, actually, maybe not. That's not the best place for it. So let's go to when the deserts is completely over, which is right before grasslands. So there we go. Let's throw that in there and uh, look over here. After deserts is over, we got one there, grasslands. Let's finish off with another one right before ocean starts. So I'm going to do a HR for horizontal rule or line. And do we need to do any more? Looks like that looks pretty good. Okay, just a couple more here to work on. We've got the extra, spe extra special character, uh, this left um, bracket or less than sign. It's telling us it's used for tags. If we want to show up, if we want this to actually show up as a paragraph, then we have to use this ampersand lt and then a semicolon so let's try to find out where this is used so we've got this here if we turn on our inspector maybe we can have a look okay so it looks like it's in this section here so we've got right before the three is that here so that'll this will show up as the uh, less than sign so we got the ampersand and then lt for less than and a semicolon and that's just how you could actually make this show up as an actual character. Because it's using tags, we have to do it a special way if we want it to show up as a less than sign instead of just um, using it as a tag. So we found out where it's used. We're going to add one more when we see the word heart. So let's see if we can find heart. Left side chest to fill your heart beat. Hmm. So maybe we could do it here. So we'll do ampersand and then LT, semicolon, and then we'll do a three. So then we got a little heart over here. Okay, if, do we have any other places? Heart, we'll do this here. Instead of heart, we'll just make this um, the less than sign, which is ampersand LT, semicolon, and then a three for the heart, to finish that little look of the heart there. Do we have any other hearts we need to fix? We'll fix this one here. We'll go um, ampersand LT, semicolon, and then a three. And we can just do that in each section where we see heart. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, put all those in there. Uh, so now we've got hearts on all of the places where it, where it had the word heart. So we'll go ahead and hit refresh and save, finish, and we'll move to the last ones. Okay, here's another example here for this character. Um, we're going to use the greater than character. So it's going to be this and percent GT and the semicolon. So I'll go ahead and change a few of these. So I've just added a couple more. I've added one here and one up here. So if we look up here, then we've got the greater than signs. And we've just got a couple more, um, but you guys can go ahead and do those uh, on your own as well. They're similar. This one here is just for the ampersand sign, and then the other one will be just to create your own code.